now see to the next question what you have prove that the tangent drawn at the ends of the diameter of the circle are parallel prove that the tangent drawn at the ends of the diameter of a circle are parallel that means if I say this is my circle okay and if I say this is my diameter if this is my diameter and if I draw tangents to this diameter if I draw tangents to this diameter one over here okay I have drawn tangents to this diameters okay and uh, this is what your center of the circle now what you have to prove you have to prove that these two lines are parallel now how we can prove that these two lines are parallel see we know that if this is O this is A this is B okay this is C this is D this is E this is F okay what do we what do we need to prove to prove is what uh, C D is parallel to E F that's what you need to pr prove okay C D is parallel to E F now how we can prove now we know that O B is perpendicular to E F yes or no yeah and O A is perpendicular to C D right OB is perpendicular to OF and OA is perpendicular to CD. Therefore, what I can say? Therefore, if I uh, see to this, uh, that is angle DAO plus angle ABF is equals to what? Is equal to is equals to 90 plus 90 which gives you 180 degree since angle DAO and angle ABF are co-interior angles co-interior angles and the sum of them and the sum of them is 180 degree Therefore, what I can say? Therefore, these two lines has to be parallel. Therefore, CD is parallel to EF. That's it. Is this clear? Yeah. Since they both are co-interior angles and if the sum of both of them equals 180, then they have to be parallel. There is no other way with, with the, the sum of both of them will be equal to 180. Yeah. Now, the next. You can also prove the same thing that the two lines are parallel by using alternate angles. That is, angle CAO and angle OBF will be equal to 90. Since the since both of them are alternate angles, therefore, the both the lines has to be parallel. That's it. You can use co-interior angle or you can also use alternate angles as per your wish. Now, the fourth problem has been completed. Next, prove that the perpendicular at a point of contact to the tangent to the circle passes through the center. Now what they are saying in this? Prove that that the perpendicular at a point of contact of the tangent to the circle passes through the center. That means if I say this is my circle. Okay, if this is my circle. And if I am drawing any of the tangent over here. If I am drawing any of the tangent over here, they are saying that proves that the perpendicular at a point of contact if I draw perpendicular at the point of contact means if I am drawing perpendicular to the point of contact what will happen to the tangent to the circle passes through the center that means this line this orange line will pass through the center that's what they are asking saying how we can say that it is it will pass through the center since we know the radius of a circle is always perpendicular to the tangent yeah 
since radius is always perpendicular perpendicular to tangent right so therefore any tangent any perpendicular drawn or you can say not any perpendicular drawn what we can say perpendicular therefore perpendicular drawn to tangent perpendicular drawn to tangent at the point of contact at the point of contact will pass through center are you getting it yeah you can write a statement also because its radius is always perpendicular to tangent no so perpendicular drawn to tangent at the point of contact will pass through center only it, there is no other way right that's why now the next problem the next problem is uh, the fifth one is done the next is six the length of a tangent yeah now what do you have the length of a tangent from a point a at a distance 5 cm from the center of the circle is 4 cm find the radius of the circle suppose if this is a circle suppose if this is a circle now what they are saying the length of tangent from the point a at a distance 5 cm from the center of the circle if this is a center of the circle at a distance 5 cm from the center of the circle that means uh, if I draw a tangent over here right at a distance 5 meter from the center of the circle that means this distance if this distance is 5 if this distance is 5 of this at a distance of 5 cm from the center of the circle is 4 cm the length of tangent from a point yeah is 4 cm the length of tangent is 4 cm so find the radius of the circle so what would be the radius of the circle it's very easy what would be the radius tell me using Pythagoras it will be very easy what would be the radius yeah yeah it will be 3 because by using Pythagoras triplet this is 90 degree and if you use Pythagoras triplet or you can if you use Pythagoras theorem you will get that this will be 3 got it next next is question number 7 now what they have given two concentric circles are of radii this and this so if I take two circles which are concentric concentric means what both the circle will have the same center yeah, both the circle will have what? They both will have same center. These are two concentric circles. These are what? These are two concentric circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm. Okay, one is 5 cm and the other one is 3 cm. Suppose if this is the this is the length of one of them, which is 3, and this is the length of the other. So what I know that is this is 3 cm and this is 5 cm. Okay, this complete. Find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. That means if I draw a chord over here, find the length of chord means if I draw a chord over here, okay, which touches the smaller circle. Got it? You have to find what would be the length of this chord. Now that would be very easy. See, if I draw this line over here, right, this again, this will be, this will also be 5 because that is the radius of the bigger circle. And if this is 5, this is 3, this will be 4. This is 4, then this will also be 4 and therefore the length of the chord will be 8 centimeter. Understood? Clear? Yeah. Now the next question. 7th is also done. 
Now we'll take the next question. Just a moment. Now, see to the next question. Now, what do you have over here? Question number eight. A quadrilateral ABCD is drawn to circumscribe a circle. Prove that AB plus CD will be equal to AD plus BC. That means, if this is your question over here, if this is your question, and uh, if I say this is my uh, figure, yeah. Now, in this, what do you have to prove this? You have to prove this. A quadrilateral. Now, it's a it's an irregular quadrilateral. Okay. It's drawn to circumscribe a circle, but it is circumscribing a circle. What do you need to prove? That AB plus CD equals AD plus BC. Now, how we can prove this? See over here. We know that the length of a tangent from any external point, and if I draw two tangents, both the length of tangents will be equal. That is, if I say if B is an external point, I know that PB is equals to BQ. Yes or no? We know it, or you don't know it? The yes, length, sir, yeah, we know. The it. Yeah, the length of the tangent from any external point will be equal. Yeah, from one point, if we draw the two tangents, the length of both the tangents will be equal. So what all things I can write over here? AP is equals to AS. Yes or no? Yeah. Also, PB is equals to BQ. Yes or no? After that, DR is equals to DS. Yes or no? And after that, RC is equals to RQ. Sorry, RC is equals to CQ. Yes or no? Yeah. If I say this is my 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what, what would be the reason over here? Tangent. Tangent. Drawn. To circle. From. Same external point. Wait, the length of tangents are equal if they are drawn from what we can write the reason. The length of tangents are equal if they are if they are drawn from same external point. same external point to the circle yes or no yeah yes or no the length of the tangents are equal if they are drawn from the same external point to the circle from same external point to the circle okay so now if i add 1 2 3 and 4 what you will get you had this a b plus b b plus o r yeah, yeah, plus yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. AD, adding 1 and 1 to adding 1 2, 3, and 4. So, what do you get? AP plus PB plus DR plus RC is equals to AS plus BQ plus DS plus CQ. Okay. Now, what is AP plus PB? Your AP plus PB is how much? AB. So, combining this both, you will get AB. DR plus RC, DR plus RC, combining this both, you get DC. AS plus SD, I think. AS plus SD gives you AD. AS plus SD gives you how much? AD plus BQ plus CQ. This gives you what? BQ plus CQ will give you BC. Yes or no? Adding 1, 2, and 3, and that's what you need to prove. Hence proved. Yes or no? Understood this? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now, the next problem. Yep. Now, in the figure, xy and x dash y dash are two parallel tangents to the circle. This xy and this x dash y dash are two parallel tangents to the circle with center O 
and another tangent AB and there is another tangent which is drawn AB with the point of contact C okay intersecting XY XY at A and X dash Y dash at B prove that angle AOB is 90 degree you need to prove this angle AOB is 90 degree okay so what you need to prove in this to prove is angle AOD AOB equals 90 degree so let's do some construction over here the construction is draw OC to prove so if I do uh, the construction of OC Okay, once I draw this OC, now what I can say in triangle APO and triangle ACO, what we can say AP is equal to AC, again the same reason, tangents from the same external point are equal. Okay, OA is equal to OA, that is common. Yeah, after that, angle OPA angle OPA is equals to angle OCA sorry is equals to angle OCA yes or no why each 90 degree so what can I say if one angle and two sides are equal and the one of the angle is 90 degree then what we can say that the two triangles are congruent by RHS test of congruency therefore triangle APO is congruent to triangle ACO by RHS test of congruency yeah by RHS test of congruency now since the two triangles are congruent then what I can say mm, what you yeah if the two triangles are congruent then angle angle POA will be equal to angle COA yes or no yeah this angle this angle will be equal to this angle since the two triangles are congruent similarly what I can say similarly angle COB is equals to angle B C O B is equals to angle C O Q or you can say Q O B yeah similarly these two angles will also be same yes or no yeah now what do we know okay let's keep this as one let's keep this as two okay now angle POA plus angle AOC plus angle COB plus angle BOQ will be equal to 180 degree since PQ is a straight line yeah what we can say angle if I take this diagram over here what do we know angle POA plus angle COA plus angle COB plus angle QOB equals 180 degree yeah what is the reason they are linear pair or you can say it since PQ is a straight line yes or no since PQ is a straight line so the, the sum of all the angles will be equal to 180 degree now POA and COA both are equal so instead of POA can I write COA so angle COA plus angle COA plus angle COB and angle QOB they both are equal so instead of QOB can I write COB so angle COB plus angle COB will be equal to 180 degree so twice of angle COA plus twice of angle COB equals 180 degree so twice of angle COA plus angle COB equals 180 degree yeah 
Therefore, angle COA plus angle CAB equals 180 divided by 2 that gives you 90 degree. Understood how we can prove that angle COA that means this angle plus this angle will be equal to 90 degree. That's what they need to prove. They have asked you to prove that is angle AOB equals 90 degree. So what I can say since the sum of these two angle equals 90 degree therefore angle AOB equals 90 degree. Yes or no? Did you understood everyone over here? Yeah. Now what you have over here prove that the angle between the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact at the center. Now what is what does it mean? See over here. If this is a circle and if you are drawing two tangents from an external point. If you are drawing two tangents from an external point from the external same point if you are drawing. Okay then what will happen? And if this is the center, what they are saying, prove that the angle between the two tangents, the angle between the two tangents means this is the angle drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact at the center. That means line joining the point of contact. So line joining the point of contact is this too. Yes or no? So what they are saying, if this is A, this is B, this is C and this is O, then what they are saying that angle BAC plus angle BOC should be equal to 180 degree. That's what they, they both are supplementary. That is to prove in this sum is what you need to prove that angle BAC plus angle BOC equals 180 degree. That's what you need to prove. Now how we can prove? We know that since AB is a tangent tangent and OB is a radius is a radius therefore AB will be perpendicular to OB therefore angle OBA will be equal to 90 degree yes or no and similarly similarly angle OCA is also equal to 90 degree yes or no in a quadrilateral what do we know in a quadrilateral the sum of all interior angles equals to 360 degree what do we know in a quadrilateral quadrilateral sum of all interior angle sum of all interior angles is 180 degree sorry 360 degree therefore angle BAC plus ACO BAC plus angle ACO plus angle COB plus angle OBA will be equal to 360 degree yes or no yeah, sum of all the angles will be equal to 360 degree. But I know that angle OBA and angle ACO is 90 degree. That this and OBA equals 90, 90. So angle BAC plus 90 plus angle COB plus angle plus 90 degree equals 360. So angle BAC plus angle COB equals 360 minus 180 so angle BAC plus angle COB will be equal to 180 degree yes or no yeah if I subtract them that means the angle this plus angle this will be equal to 180 degree and that's what they are asking understood how to prove it yeah now what you have prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus Prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Okay. If I draw a parallelogram like this, if I am drawing a parallelogram like this,
Now this have been sub circumscribing a circle. Yep. Now it's a parallelogram which is circumscribing a circle. Yep. Now it is stopping. Okay. Now you have to show that if it is a parallelogram which is circumscribing a circle, you have to show that it's a rhombus. Now how we can show? See if this is A, B, C, sorry, A, B, C, D, if this is, these are the points, if this is P, Q, R and S. What do we know? Since, since the parallelogram is circumscribing circumscribing the circle therefore sides of parallelogram sides of parallelogram form tangent to the circle Yes or no? They will form tangent to the circle. Yes or no? They all are tangent to the circle. Yes or no? You can nod your face. Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay. So, therefore, AQ will be equal to AP. Yes or no? Since tangent drawn from the same point, from ex same external point will be equal to the same circle. Yeah? Similarly, BQ will be equal to BR. After that, I can also say DS is equals to PD and SC is equals to CR. You need to remember whenever we are writing this kind of alphabets, you need to remember whatever AQ, QB, DS and SC are on the same side. So everything should be written on the left hand side. And the other sides, everything should be written on the right hand side. So you should keep it in mind only then if you add and you'll get the answers. Should keep in mind all the horizontal thing on one side and all the vertical thing on one side. You should write. Now if this all are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then what I can say? Adding 1, 2, adding 1, 2, 3 and 4. What do I get? AQ plus BQ plus DS plus SC is equals to AP plus BR plus PD plus CR. Okay, AQ plus BQ will be AQ plus BQ will be AB. DS plus SC. DS plus SC will be DC. Will be equal to AP plus BR. AP plus, oh wait. No, AP plus PD. AP plus PD will be AD. Plus BR plus CR will be BC. Fine. So AB plus DC, what do you got? What do you got? AB plus DC is equals to AD plus BC. Wait, wait. AB plus DC. Yeah. AD plus BC. Yeah. Now, what I can, what I know that is since AB is equals to DC and AD is equals to BC. Why? Since quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Is a parallelogram, no? Yes or no? It's a parallelogram. So, AB plus DC. So, instead of DC, can I write AB? So, AB plus AB will be equal to will be equal to this is AD and BC can be written as AD. So, can I say twice of AB is equal to twice of AD and what do I get? AB is equal to AD. Now, if AB is equals to AD, if AB is equals to AD, we already know that AB equals DC. And if AB is equals to this also, then this is also equal to this. Then all the sides are equal. Yes or no? Yes or no? 
Are you getting it? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Therefore, what I can say? Therefore, AB equals BC equals CD equals AD, and therefore, what I can say? Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. Clear? Yes. Yeah. Quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. That's it. Now the next problem. The eleventh one is done. Prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Can you try solving twelfth problem by yourself? Please try it on your own. I'll be back in a minute. Now see over here what they have given in this question. A triangle. Okay. A triangle ABC is drawn to circumscribe a circle of radius four centimeter. Means the radius of the circle is four. Okay, such that the segment BD and segment DC into which BC is divided by the point of contact D of the length 8 cm and 6 cm respectively. You have to find the sides AB and AC. You need to find this. Okay, now how we can find? Suppose if I draw these lines. means radius at the point of contact okay if i draw this lines then also if i draw this lines also now all this lines will be perpendicular Yes or no? Yeah. Also, if I name them A, B, C, D, if I name them this as E and this as F, then B, F will be how much? What will be the value of B, F? Yeah, anyone? What will be the value of B, F? Nupur, can you say? Sir, do we have to find it by Pythagoras theorem? No. See, this BF and BD are the tangent from the same external point to the circle. So, what will be Sir, the value? 8 centimeter. Yeah, it will be 8. Exactly. What will be the value of CE? Six centimeter. Exactly. Yeah. What will be the value of OF? Four centimeter. Yeah. Similarly, OE will also be four. Now, to find the values of AB and AC, we need to find what is AE and AF. If we know that, we'll get the whole answer. But for that, if I say this is X and this, then this will also be X. Yes or no? But I don't know that length. So now what I what can be done to solve this question? To find the value of x. Uh, what can be done? Yeah. What we what we can do is we can find the area of this whole triangle ABC in two ways. One by using Heron's formula and one by using this triangles. See, area of triangle ABC will be equal to area of triangle OCB plus area of triangle OCA plus area of triangle OBA. Yes or no? Means we'll be taking these triangles. This one, this one and this one. If I add all the triangles, then we'll get the area of the whole triangle. Yes or no? Yes, everyone, please keep your video on. 
Yes, Nupur, you are getting it? Yeah, okay, fine. So, what will be area of triangle OCB? That will be half into base into height. The base, the value of the base is how much? The base is 6 plus 8, that is uh, 14 plus 14 into height will be OD, that is 4. Yes or no? Plus half into area of triangle OCA, it will be base will be 6 plus X and height will be again 4 plus half of area of triangle AOB, base will be 8 plus X and height will be 4 again. So what we can do? This gets cancelled too, this gets cancelled too and this gets also gets cancelled too. So 14 into 2, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s two are 4, 2 1s are 2. So it will be 28 plus 2 into 6 plus X plus 2 into 8 plus X. Right? So what do we get? 28 plus 12 plus 2X plus 16 plus 2X. So 28 plus 12, that is 30, 40, 40, 50, 56 plus 4X. This is what your area of triangle, what do we get? Area of triangle ABC is 56 plus 4X. Did you understood this up to over here? Yeah? Up to here everything is clear? Okay. Now the next. We can also find the area of the same triangle by using Heron's formula. We can also find area of the same triangle by using Heron's formula. What is Heron's formula? That is area of triangle by Heron's formula. Area of triangle equals what? Square root of square root of semi perimeter into semi perimeter minus a, semi perimeter minus b, and semi perimeter minus c. I hope you are aware about this. Yeah, you are aware about this semi perimeter means uh, the Heron's formula. Yes or no, Nupur? You know it? Fine. What is S? S is semi-perimeter. Means you have to add, do the complete perimeter and divide it by 2. So S will be what? This, uh, that is AB plus BC plus AC by 2. Now the value of AB will be 8 plus X. BC will be 14. And AC will be 6 plus X. By 2. 14 plus 6, 20, 28 plus 2x upon 2. So this will be 14 plus x. Yes or no? The semi perimeter is how much? 14 plus x. Yeah. Now, area of triangle will be by using Heron's formula, area of triangle ABC will be under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So that will be equal to 14 plus x into 14 plus x minus a means the side opposite to a that is 14 into 14 plus x minus b what will be the value of b the side opposite to b that is 6 plus x into 14 plus x minus c the value of c will be this AB that is 8 plus X are you getting it yeah yes sir okay now this will be square root of 14 plus X 14 and 14 will get get cancelled it will be X this will be 14 14 plus X minus 6 minus X this will be 14 plus x minus 8 minus x. Okay, this, so this will be square root of 14 plus x into x. 14 minus 6 will be 8. x and x will get cancelled. 
14 minus 8 will be 6 and x and x will get cancelled. Okay, so what do you get? Square root of 6 8s are 48 into 4 plus x into x. Got it? So this is what your area of triangle ABC. But we know what is area of triangle ABC. That is 56 plus 4x which we, which we found first. That is how much? 56 plus 4x. Therefore, 56 plus 4x will be equal to square root of 48 into 4 plus x into x. Now if I do the squaring on both the sides, then what I get? If I do the squaring on both the sides, so it will be 56 plus 4x whole square will be equal to 48 into 4 plus x into x. Let's do the squaring of this. So what do you get? 56 square will be... 4 plus x. Okay, wait. 4 plus x. So 14 plus x. Yeah, yeah, 14 plus x. It will be 14 plus x. It will be 14 plus x. So, wait a moment. 48 uh, three, seven, yeah 48 that's right now if I do the squaring of this 56 plus 4x but wait before doing that the 58 is a huge number before doing that what I will do I'll do the prime factorization of 48 if I do the prime factorization of 48 2 2 are 2 4 are 2 1 are 2 are 2 6 are 2 3's are and 3 1's are. So how many couples? You can get 2 couples. So you can take out that 2. 2 into 2 that is 4 and then again root of 3 into 14 plus x into x. You can write this. Yeah, you can take out 4. In this both also you can take 4 as common. 4 1's are 4 4's are 16 plus x. Now you can cancel 4 and 4. This becomes easy. Now if you square on both the sides 14 plus x whole square will be equal to 3 into 14 plus x into x. Yeah, so 14 plus x whole square. Let's solve this. Mm, yeah, 14 plus x whole square. So 14 square is 196 plus 2 into 14 that is 28x plus x square will be equal to 3 into 14x plus x square. Then again, 196 plus 28x plus x square will be equal to 3 into 3 4s are 12 3 1s are 3 4 42 x plus 3 x square fine ultimately if i take this on this side it will be 196 plus 28x minus 42 x plus x square minus 3 x square equals 0 so 196 minus 12 minus uh, 12 minus 8 will be 2 gone and then 6 gone 4 3 minus 2 that is 1 F minus 14 x minus 2 x square will be equal to 0 if I divide in the table of uh, minus 2 if I take minus 2 as common so it will be minus uh, 2 9s are 18 2 8s are 16 plus 7 x plus x square is equals to 0. If minus 2 goes on that side, everything will be 0 again. So x square plus 7x x square plus 7x minus 98 is equals to 0. So this is what you get a quadratic equation to find the value of x. Now the sum required is 7 and the product required is 98. So which are the numbers? 98 into 1 gives you 98. If I cancel in the table of 2, means divide this number by 2 and multiply this by 2. So 2 4s are 8, 2 9s are 18 into 2 is also 98. If I cancel in the table of 7, 7 7s are 49, 7 2s are 14. Now 14 minus 7 gives you 7 and 14 into 7 gives you 98. So the two numbers are 14 and 7 only. You need minus 98. So you will have to write it as 14 and minus 7. Right? So it will be x square plus 14x minus 7x minus 98 will be equal to 0. x in common x plus 14 minus 7 in common x plus 14 equals 0. So what do you get? x minus 7 and x plus 14 
equal 0. So x minus 7 equal 0 or x plus 14 equal 0. Ultimately you get x equals 7 or x equals minus 14. Now minus 14 cannot be the answer. Why? Because the distance cannot be in negative. Therefore x equals 7. This cannot be the answer. Right? This cannot be the answer. Why? Because the distance cannot be negative. So the value of x is 7. Once you get the value of x is 7, now you can find what is a, b and b, c. What will be a, b? That is 8 plus x. a, b is how much? 8 plus x, which gives you 8 plus 7. That gives you 15. Okay? And what is the value of a, c now? The value of a, c is 6 plus x. So the value of a, c is 6 plus x, that is 6 plus 7, that is 13. Understood? How do we get the values of AB and AC? Yeah? Everything is clear in this. If you have any doubt in this, you can ask your question. Now, the next question is the last question of your chapter, that is circles. This one. Prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle substance supplementary angles at the center of the circle. The next question is, Prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle substance supplementary angles at the center of the circle. Now, see over here. Suppose if this is a circle which is circumscribed by a quadrilateral. If this is a circle which is circumscribed by a quadrilateral. That is this. Yeah, which is circumscribed by a quadrilateral. Prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle substance supplementary angles at the center of the circle. Suppose if this is the center of the circle. Okay, and if I draw lines like this. Okay, now what do you need to prove in this? To prove is, suppose if this is A, B, C and D and this is O. Angle AOB plus angle COD angle COD equals 180 degree prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle substance supplementary angles at the center of the circle means this two angles are supplementary and these two angles are also supplementary that's what you need to prove or you can also say angle AOD plus angle BOC will be equal to 180 degree. Got it? The sum of these two angles should be equal to 180 degree. That's what you need to prove. Now how we can prove this? <sighs> to write the proof, we'll have to draw all these lines which I'm drawing it right now. Now see over here. If I say these points are P, Q, R and S and if I name this angles as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What I know in triangle POB and triangle SOB. What do we know? Yeah. So in this what do we know? OP equals OS. Why? Radius. OB equals OB. Why? Common. Yeah, and angle OPB, angle OPB equals angle OSB. Why? Each 90 degree. Therefore, triangle POB is congruent to triangle SOB. Okay? Triangle POB is congruent to triangle SOB by RHS test of congruency. By RHS test of congruency. By RHS test of congruency, what we can say? That the two triangles are congruent. Similarly, Similarly, 
therefore angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 by CPCT yes or no angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 and similarly what we can say similarly I can since angle 1 equals angle 2 similarly what I can say angle 3 will be equal to angle angle 1 is equals to angle 2 then angle 4 will be equals to angle 4 will be equal to angle 3 yeah uh, then angle 5 will be equal to angle 6 and angle 8 will be equal to angle 7 okay if I say this is 1 2 3 and 4 adding 1 2 3 and 4 adding all of them so what do you get angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 8 angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 8 will be equal to angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 but angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 8 is equals to angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 6 okay but what do we know angle 1 is equals to angle 2 yeah wait wait not like this all of them are equal but will not add all, all of them will not add all of them what we what we know that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 plus angle 8 will be equal to 360 degree yes or no sum of all of them will be equal now angle 1 is equals to angle 2 angle 3 is equals to angle 4 angle 5 is equals to angle 6 and angle 8 is equals to angle 7 so can I say instead of angle 1 plus angle 2 if I write angle 1 also as angle 2 only because they both are same no as per 1 yeah after that angle 3 plus angle 4 if I write both of them as angle 3 only then angle 5 plus angle 6 if I write both of them as angle 6 only then and angle 7 plus angle 8 if I write both of them as angle 7 only so this will be equal to 360 again yeah so twice of angle 2 plus twice of angle 3 plus twice of angle 6 plus twice of angle 7 equals 360 if I take 2 outside angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 equals 360 if I take 2 on that side angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 equals 360 divided by 2 that is 180 now angle 2 3 6 7 angle 2 plus angle 3 will be equals to angle AOB and angle 6 plus angle 7 will be equal to angle COD equals to 180 degree understood that the opposite pair of a quadrilateral are circum substanding and supplementary angle at the center of the circle understood this yes or no yes. yeah okay then so guys over here we are done with the chapter circles and in the next class we'll be starting with a new topic so please tell me if you have if if any topic to be started in the next class do you have any topic which we need to start in the next class then please tell no fine then we'll discuss at that time only when we will be starting uh, when you'll have the next class okay so then bye bye over here have a good day thank you bye sir thank you sir.